In this video tutorial I'm going to show you the steps involved in taking Excel tabular data and bringing it into AutoCAD. So what we have on the Excel sheet at the moment as you can see is just a series of data changes along a road centre line, existing ground levels along the centre line and proposed road levels along the same centre line. Now to make sure I don't lose any important data, what I'm going to do here is make a copy of this so that I can refer back to the original if I need to. So just select the cells where you've got your change and level data. And copy. And create a new sheet for yourself. And uh, paste. Now the reason why I've done this is that there are some sets of data which I need to remove from the set at the at the overall set at the moment. So for instance you can see here we've got a 20 meter change interval which is what I want to use but along the proposed center line we've got irregular change intervals where we've got the start and the end of a vertical curve. They're going to become important later on but right now I need to remove those. So select the cells you want to get rid of do a right click and go delete and we want to shift the entire cells up and you can see now by doing that we've got change 100 here and change 100 here along the same row that's what we need to do we need to make sure those changes match so anywhere you see an irregular set of data like that just delete it And what you should find when you get to the end is that the last change, 1380, matches the last change on the design of the road as well. Now the information that was there for the irregular change intervals will become important later on. That's why we made a copy of the reduce levels so we can refer back to them at a later stage. So at this stage what we can do is we can remove this column here now because it's basically a duplication of uh, column A. So select column C, do a right click and delete. And now we have the three bits of information we need. The change, the existing ground level at that change and the proposed ground level at that change. So what we need to do to bring this into a table that will be useful in AutoCAD is first of all we need to make it into a horizontal version of this table. So what we need to do is just select the entire set come up to our copy and over here in this next cell we need to paste but we need to paste in a particular way so we need to just come down to the options for paste here and what we want to do is we want to take the transpose option and when you click that you get the same information but as you can see it's now put into a horizontal table as opposed to a vertical table when you've got that done you can take the vertical version of it and you can delete that okay it's gone now just to balance this up a little bit what we're going to do is we're going to um, make these cells the same height just to make them look a little bit better now it would be worth checking at this stage that you've got three decimal places for the reduced levels. You may find from calculations of the vertical curve that Excel might have given you a fourth decimal place for some of these. It hasn't in my case, but just double check that. That 96.079 should show up as 96.079 and not a fourth decimal place. If you see a fourth decimal place, you would have to format those cells to bring them down to a three decimal place. The column A we can get rid of that because we're going to put our own legend in when we come to AutoCAD so you can remove that and you're left now with um, the changes on the top row the reduced levels of the proposed level and the reduced levels of the existing ground level what you need to do now is just save that uh, maybe we'll rename this sheet oh, do you know what we'll do we'll actually save this into a new um, file completely so I'm gonna go file 
oh, sorry, you know what we'll do? We'll copy that. So select all that. And go copy. And then create a new Excel file. And just go paste. Okay, and now we need to rename this file. And I'm going to call it um, long section level data. Doesn't matter what you call it, but I've got a couple of things with similar names in here, so I want to give mine a uh, unique name. So long section level data, and I'm saving it into a particular um, folder on my computer that I'll be able to find later on. I might even just put it on the desktop to make it even easier to find. Now once that's saved, you can close down your Excel. That's completely finished with now. If you want, you can save any changes. Probably a good idea. And we're going to go into our AutoCAD at this stage. So I've got a blank AutoCAD drawing here, um, ready for information. Um, now, you will need to use your proper template here. I've just opened up a blank AutoCAD drawing that has no template information on it so for example if I go to the home tab and look at my layers uh, I don't have any layers in there so make sure you're using the correct template that has different layers in there so what we need to do to bring a table in well first of all we need to draw the length of the longitudinal section in our case the length of the road is 1380 meters and I want to draw that to a scale of 1 is to 1000 so if I wanted to draw that in AutoCAD it would be 1380 millimeters however I want to go an extra 20 meters and you'll see why in a second so the first thing I want to do is I just want to draw a line L and enter I'm going to make sure my orthographic mode is switched on so that I'm getting a horizontal line this seems to have stalled on me here at the moment so I'll just bear with it for a second Okay, it's back on now. So I'm just going to draw a horizontal line. It doesn't matter where I start it. And I want to give it a length of 1,400. Now, the units here are millimeters. Remember what we're doing. We're trying to draw a horizontal line at a scale of 1 is to 1,000. Uh, the entire road has to be 1,400 meters long. So I'm drawing it 1,400 millimeters long. And that will allow me to have a scale of 1 is to 1,000. And you can drop a vertical line down from that as well, just temporarily, and just tap the escape key a couple of times. Now we'll be getting rid of that vertical line at a later stage, but now we've got a, a, a horizontal line, the length of the road, the length of the road plus an extra 20 meters. You'll see why in a second. So we need to bring our tabular data in now from the Excel sheet. So to do that, what we need to do is come up to the annotation tab in our AutoCAD. So that's up here and this is where you would have looked at text and dimensions and leaders before but now we're going to look at a table and instead of drawing a table straight off what we're going to do is we're going to put in some data so linking some data from the Excel sheet so click on link data you're going to get a dialog box coming up in a second where we have to just look at a couple of settings and look at the file path for the Excel sheet itself so we don't have any at the moment. We need to create a new Excel data link. So you click on that, and we're going to call this uh, just something like long section. And go OK. So the dialog box that comes up looks like this and we need to go to browse for the file so at this stage what we're doing is we're going looking for that Excel sheet that we created about five minutes ago now I put mine on the desktop so I need to just have a browse here and see if I can find it and there it is there long section level data so I'll double click on that just give AutoCAD a couple of seconds to uh, find it now what do we want to look at? We want to look at sheet number one. We didn't rename the sheets, but it was sheet number one that we worked on. And at the bottom here, you can just go OK. 
and it's saying that the preview is too large to display you can ignore that for a moment but importantly you need to double check that it, the word long section appears up here and go OK. OK now that has made a data link it hasn't actually created the table yet it's just made a link to the Excel sheet. Now that we've got that link there we can now come up to the table button do a left click Now the dialog box hasn't fully uh, uh, has come up here now. That's fine. So, like looking at this for a second, uh, standard table style is fine. From data link, we need to select that now, okay? And the data link we want to use is the one we created just a couple of seconds ago, the one called long section. That'll take the computer a couple of uh, seconds just to bring it in. Okay, my computer stalled there. I had to just leave it for a second, so I'm just going to do that step again. So click on table. Um, let's just have a look at this first. I think maybe what crashed my computer was I selected this over here first, and maybe I should have looked at this. Now, I know that the number of um, columns in my data is 70. I know that from my Excel sheet, so yours might vary, but if you're working off the same data as me, it will be 70. And you don't need to worry about any of the other um, cell data it should work okay the one thing you do have to change is the first row cell style so it's going to be data because we don't want to use um, headers or titles we just want to keep it all in the same kind of format now that's really just to do it a text style so make sure they all say data make sure you change that to the correct number of uh, rows and col columns um, data rows num is number is three because we've got chainage we've got existing level and we've got proposed level so that's why that is three if you turn on your computer and that might that might say something like five as a default make sure you change that back to three because if you leave it at five you'll end up with two blank rows of data so having made those changes come over here to the data link and select the data link we created a few minutes ago and when you've done that click on OK and you can see here now that the cursor changes to show a table there's no data in there right now, so don't worry about that. That'll come up in a second. And what we want to do is we want to just snap that to the left-hand edge of the longitudinal section itself. And it draws the table like that. OK. Now, I seem to have a couple of blank spaces coming in here at the moment, so we'll solve that later on. The next thing you need to do is to stretch this out now so that it takes up the full length. Remember our road is 1400 meters long so we need to stretch that table so that it goes over the entire length. So how you do that is you click on the table and you see you've got a blue arrow up here which is for stretch so click on that and drag the table over. You don't need to hold down the left key for this. Just click on it once, then drag the mouse over, and we want to snap it to that point up there. And now what we've got, if we hit Escape, we have the tabular data brought in, and it takes up the full length of the section. Now, one way of just double-checking that this is working properly is if you do a dimension up here and just check what is the distance between those vertical lines? We should find that it's 20 millimeters. Remember, we're working at a scale of 1 is to 1,000. So that 20 up there is millimeters, but when we scale it up, it will be 20 meters. So that's how you bring the tabular data in from Excel. To start creating your longitudinal section, then, you need to take a datum level, and we're going to use a scale of 1 is to 100 for this. So if we say, for example, that this vertical line uh, at the top of the table here is a level of we'll say 90 that means that the first level of my cross section is going to be 6.079 meters above that so what you need to do is just draw a line from the datum line up 60.79 and I'm typing in 60.79 because I'm using a scale of 1 is to 100 do that and press enter hit escape and the next line which is associated with this data in here the 96.529 draw a line from the datum line up and the distance this time is going to be 65.29 and press enter 
same again for this one over here it's going to be six from here it's going to be up 69.39 and you continue that for the entire row of the table then you're left with a situation where you've got these lines here at different heights and to draw the profile of the existing ground level you simply join the top of the lines like this and you'll end up with a longitudinal section profile over the entire length of the road. Repeat that process for the le levels for the proposed ground and you will end up with a longitudinal profile that will have two lines in it, one for the existing levels and one for the proposed ground levels.